but what's, how important is education here? Well, there are a number of <clears throat> points I would make in response to this, Seth. Uh, first of all, I, I just learn a lot from students. Uh, being a scholar is really a dialectical process. Charlie, for example, was at the University of Chicago for many years, and he and I are, were close colleagues and still are close friends. But we disagree on all sorts of issues, and I benefited greatly from going back and forth with Charlie. And one thing that happens at the University of Chicago, and I'm sure it happens at most other schools around the country, is that when you go into a classroom, and here we're talking mainly about seminars, you engage in combat with the students, right? And you fight about ideas. And in the process of fighting about ideas, you learn all sorts of things that you otherwise didn't know. And indeed, in some cases, you go in there with an idea firmly implanted in your brain, you engage in combat with the students, and they change your mind. There are actually a lot of ideas I have about international politics. It would be impossible to pinpoint them that I learned from students, as hard as that may be to believe. <laughs> I would also say that I have never viewed myself as someone who preaches. You know, a lot of people probably think I'm um, Mr. Realism and I like to go into a class and do everything I can to convert everybody in the class to my way of thinking about the, about the world. I, I've never felt that way at all. I think it's very important that people figure out for themselves how they think about the world. And I do think that the great advantage of dealing with me is that I am very clear, as you were pointing out. So you can take your bearings from my arguments and figure out where you agree and where you disagree and benefit greatly from that. So when I write a book like this, I do hope that a lot of people agree with what a, lot, a lot of what I say. I am trying to convince some people for sure, but I think even more importantly, it's just imperative that someone get these ideas out there and other people think about the ideas and think about where they agree and disagree. And I think this is an important public service that we provide, we academics, not only in the context of the classroom at a place like the University of Chicago, but in the broader public at large.